What's up guys, Mr. iPod Wizard here to show you how to make your own custom keyboards on 3.1.3, 3.1.2, 3.0, .1 and 4.0. And I'm here to show you this mainly because I'm tired of having to make all of them because it takes a while. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. Plus, y'all can do whatever keyboards you want. Alright, so I've taken two things that used to work in 2.2 such as True Blue Keyboard and Carbon's Ice Keys. And I'm going to show you how to make them work. I got this program called iDesigner where you can resize pictures really fast for iPods. So I'll put that in the description. It's a free program. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and open up our two folders that we want to make. Oh yeah, and the keyboard looks sort of like this. See, this is a 3.1.3 keyboard now. It used to be a 2 point something. And I made these ice keys with it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. And I'm going to minimize this. Okay, so first of all... We're going to open this, Carbon's Ice Keys, okay, like a little bit wider for y'all to see. And then that's going to be our keys, and then we need to open the keyboard now, True Blue, let me open that, alright. So you got both of your things that you want to make now, put together, okay. So, the only thing you got left now is to decide, okay, well, I need to figure out which ones of these match up. Okay, so we're going to minimize this. Alright, you get whichever 2.2s that you wanted from City up, and then you want to get you a 3 point, you got to have a 3.1.3 .3 keyboard already uh, on your desktop so you can make this into a 3.1.3. .3. Alright. So I'm going to take a keyboard that I already made, such as, let's see, let's take this and we'll go ahead and make this and into it. You want to copy your keyboard to your desktop, I'll put a 3.1.3 .3 in the description so you can use it as like a template. Alright, so you're going to open the one we just copied. This is this is gonna be a, what the key the keyboard on 3.1.3 look like. It's gonna be in folders is the first folder I access, and then you're gonna go straight to themes, and then I access again, and then images. All right, and then it'll look just like this. So what you wanna do is make sure the main thing is if you're gonna put your custom keys on there, like the ice keys, you wanna make sure that it has a. You wanna make sure the size of them. So you go to properties details and you want to make it 85 by 130 I know it says 135 but don't worry about that so if you use keys you're gonna make it 85 by 130 I'll show you how to do that in a minute okay so here's here's our template and here's the keyboard that we want the true blue say this is the keyboard you really want and it was on 2.2 okay so the main thing is you find just look at the pictures this is the ABC thing so you want to look for the ABC thing on this one and see what it's called. And it's going to be called KB ABC. So you're going to rename this to KB underscore ABC. Okay, after you rename it, well, we got to find it again. If you have it maximized, it'll be easy to find. <sighs> underscore ABC. And all you want to do is drag and drop it into here and push move and replace. So now it'll look like that. And so then we're going to take KB123. We're going to find the 123 on here. Okay. So we're just going to scroll until we find the 123 keyboard. You don't look at the name, just look at the picture. Okay. So here's the 123 right here. And. We're going to just rename it to KBABC. I mean, KB123. Push enter, drag and drop. Move and replace. Alright, so that was just an example. So, this is, this is going to be your new keyboard. You want to go ahead and rename it. So, let's go ahead and go into our folder that we had. Oh, wait, it was iStorm. And we're going to make it called Custom. It was a black keyboard, and now let's see if it changed. We want to drag and drop it into our 
theme folder. And now it should be in your winter board, so we're going to go ahead and open up our iPod. Okay, we're going to go check the winter board. And then you'll see at the top it says custom, that's the keyboard we just made. So let's uncheck true ice that I was using. That I made that true ice, you can download it. Alright, here's our custom keyboard we just made, let's see if it worked. Okay, so we got a resprung, if that's how you want to say it. So we're going to go over to our keyboard. There it is, it's going to be blue. It actually pops up with black and blue on the top, so it matches pretty good. So I don't want to put the ice keys in, but I'm still going to show you how to do the ice keys since I already said all you want to. Okay. So minimize this, and let's go ahead and show you how to put the keys in there, the custom keys. You want to open up your keyboard that you want to put the keys on. Get all the way into your images. Okie doke. So right here, we got the keys. Your main one's going to be right here, because that's the one that you type all your ABCs with. Except on the corners, it has these two. But I'm just going to show you how to change this one. Okay, so we're going to open up the ice keys we want to put into it. And we're going to find the one that looks most like that one. And I'll show you when I got it. So let's look for it. We went way past it. That's the one landscape one. So uh, there it is, right there. All right. So you want to name it Big Key Underscore Thirty Two Center. Actually, no, you don't. Not yet. You're gonna have to check the width and the height of this, which is gonna be. 84 by 135 we're going to make it 84 by 130 because it looks much better so we're going to go ahead and resize this copy it to my desktop open up iDesigner that I showed y'all I put it in this folder okay image resizer image path you want to find it it's going to be on their desktop it's going to look just like that and we're going to make it 84 by 130 just by typing it in 84 130 and then we're going to push preview like that but you might want to make it a little bit you know how you see how tall it is you might want to make it a little bit shorter so i'm going to make it 84 by 125 and it'll probably look a little bit better yeah all right but make sure you keep the width like 84, 85. All right, then you want to save it, and we're gonna save it as big key underscore 32 center, and we'll save it as our desktop. This is done. All right, you exit off of this program. Okay, big key 32 center, and we're gonna just drag and drop our new one. Which is right here, big key thirty center. Drag and drop this thing in here, move into place, and then after you get done with that, custom. This is yours. Drag and drop. Oops, I put it in a different folder. Drag and drop. Bam. Copy. Okay, so we got it in there. And then all you want to do is respring your iPod. And it should have the key in there that we just put. So let's go ahead and respring one time. Where's my iPod at? There it is. Respring it. Okie doke. Pause the video and wait for it to respring. Be right back. Alright, we're going to go ahead and sum this video up. And let's see if it worked. Scroll over here. And you see we got ice keys now. Except on the corners. you got to do the corners by yourself. Just, you know, look at the size of them and then resize the ice key to whatever it needs to be. And, you know, you'll be pretty much suited up for a nice little keyboard to use. Yep. Alright, see y'all next video. Peace out. Subscribe.